airship bound for Hampton Roads stopped in New Jersey after concerns of stowaways on board. And members of the Coast Guard say they heard banging noises coming from the containers of the Via de Quarius. Uh, that prompted a search now into its eighth hour. We have been following this since it broke, working with our NBC affiliates in the New York area to get details. And so far, searchers looked through less than 200 of the containers in question. The ship began its voyage May 30th in United Arab Emirates, made one stop in Pakistan and two stops in India before heading to the States. A Coast Guard spokesman says the containers in question are from one of the stops in India. Ten of your side's Katie Collette is live at APM terminals in Portsmouth. And Katie, APM was supposed to be the ship's final destination. That's right, Tom. Jim, Joe Harris, rather, of the Virginia Port Authority tells me that ship was supposed to arrive here Friday. He also tells me if there are stowaways on board, he would be very surprised if they could even survive the final leg of their journey into Portsmouth in one of those containers with how hot it's supposed to be. The fact that this was the potential was discovered during a boarding is a success story. Commander Kevin Carroll of the U.S. Coast Guard in Portsmouth is the chief of the inspections and investigation branch. He calls this day a success so far because the Villa de Aquarius did not make its way to APM terminals in Portsmouth. That is because of a routine inspection by the Coast Guard from New York. A crew member knocked on a container and that crew member believes someone knocked back. So they docked the ship in Newark, New Jersey. Carroll says the knocking technique is common in these daily searches and sometimes it's the last move a stowaway has to survive. In some cases these stowaways have been on board in very cramped conditions in some cases for weeks so when they do arrive here they're not in the best physical shape and they do need some help and they're not really looking to get anywhere right now they're just looking for help so knocking may just be a cry the knock back is a cry for help. Had the Coast Guard not discovered the possible stowaways and the illegal aliens had made it into port here at APM Joe Harris of the Port Authority says their future was bleak. He says, quote, the container probably would have sat in the yard for a couple of days and then been loaded onto a truck or a train, end quote. Those couple of days would have started Friday when temperatures are forecasted for the 90s or hotter. Inside one of these cargo containers, the temps would be even hotter than that. Ten on your side learned CMA CGM owns the Villa de Aquarius. The company has a branch in Norfolk. A spokesperson says right now they do not have many details they can release other than the fact that the company is working closely with United States officials as they investigate. Now, investigators tell me they have one goal in mind if stowaways are found and if they're found alive. We'll tell you what that goal is, new at 6. Tom?